I had a client who was pretty confident that he was getting a very, very big order. And so he was really excited because that was going to enable him to not only handle his expenses that were coming up, but to do some other investments he was making in the business. He was a CEO slash salesperson for the company involved in attracting new business and really excited about it. Now, the interesting thing is that he wasn't the kind of person who had the discipline to actually go out and get sales. Um, these things sort of came in as a result of relationships, out of reputation, um, out of just being in the market for a while. Well, guess what happened? The deal that he was expecting didn't come in, which means that the money that he was expecting was not going to come in. And that really put him in a difficult position because he didn't have a pipeline. He didn't have anybody who was going to fulfill um, that, that order who was going to um, occupy that space in terms of um, uh, operationally so that he could pay his people and he didn't have the money that he was expecting to come in. So what happened at that point, he began to really stress out about the, uh, the reality that he was facing uh, days, weeks, months coming up where he wasn't going to be able to meet his expenses and he didn't quite know what he was going to do. So uh, he and I started to talk about what he could do to solve this problem, and I realized he had a pretty basic problem. He had no sales system. He had no operation. He had nothing that was really going to generate uh, money that was coming in. And the idea of having someone help him in that process even scared him because he always thought of these things as expenses, not as things that contributed to revenue. He didn't think about the idea that you invest in uh, processes, systems, knowledge, support, guidance, and that would help him grow his business. Well, we started to talk about how to implement some fundamental sales practices and frankly, what to do in this impending emergency that he had that uh, really would have created some financial hardship for him and started to get him to uh, bang away, make calls, to uh, knock on some doors, to be present on social media, to, to be active out there in the, in the marketplace, to go to networking events, to be visible in his community, to activate old customers, to do all the things that he could do to leverage uh, his place in the market and to generate some business. Well, what happened? After about three, four weeks, he started to see the results of these things happening, you know, these opportunities, these these activities happening. And he started to get people who were saying, well, well, what would it cost if we wanted to do X, Y, Z? Or how quickly could you do this or that? Or would you be interested in, in, in doing this for us? And then he got a person who was interested in moving right then, right there, during that conversation that said, listen, this is something I need to commit to right now. Can you do this for me? If you can, we can do this right now. Uh, I'll get you a check, we'll get this thing done, and uh, you know, I'm so glad I ran into you because I really need this right now. Here's the bottom line. This is what everyone should be doing. And he said to me, why was I not doing this activity all along? Why was I not out there all along? Why wasn't I doing it? And the reality is that a lot of people in sales, in entrepreneurship, in whatever they're doing, they'll do something and they'll see that it works, but they won't keep doing it. They'll see that they can get results at a small level, but they won't focus on getting those results at a higher level. And it's one of the most basic things you can do as an organization, as a salesperson, as an individual out there looking for business, get what works for you on a small level to work on a higher level. Now, sometimes we'll do something on a small level. We'll send out a uh, email marketing campaign. We'll do some social media. We'll knock on doors. We'll make more phone calls. We'll network. And we'll get something that will happen and we just won't keep doing it because we don't realize that we have to refine it, we have to improve it, we have to turn it into a system that will generate money for us. But that is exactly what you have to do and it's one of the things that you can do uh, in your sales territory, in your business, in whatever organization you have. If you're looking for grants, you're trying to get funding, whatever it is you do, find what works at a small level and then do it at a larger level. 
if you were able to go and sell products of some kind at a fair or at an event and you sold a few, figure out how you could sell more. If you were able to do a telemarketing campaign and that resulted in a few sales, figure out how to do that at a bigger level. If you did a event and that resulted in a certain level that you'd like to see come in and maybe expand, do it at a higher level. You see, anyone who does an event or any kind of activity, the first time they do it, they don't really know what they're doing. And so they're trying to figure out what will make it work. And very often, you, you, you look back at those early days of doing something and you think, why did I do it this way? Or why did I think it was so hard? Or why was it such a struggle? And the big reason is up here. It's all, it's all mental. Uh, you thought of it as difficult, so it was difficult, and you didn't see the paths that were available to you to make it easier. Look at your sales activity, look at your business, look at what you're doing, and figure out what am I doing that's working at a small level, and how can I stick with this, how can I refine it, how can I improve it, and make it work at a higher level. Have you had a gathering and nobody showed up? Have another gathering and get one person to show up. Have another gathering and have three people to show up. You know, I think the first seminar I ever gave, the first gathering I ever gave, you, you know how many people showed up? Zero. Nobody showed up. The first recruiting activity I did when I was building a business um, a long time ago, and I put an ad, I was trying to get salespeople to come together and I was trying to find somebody who could help grow the company. You know who showed up? Zero. So the bottom line is, uh, when you first get going, uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult. But as you continue to progress, uh, it, it really will grow. I, I ran into a, a very, very famous author and speaker in Atlantic, in, um, uh, in the Atlanta airport. And we bumped into each other, and we instantly recognized each other. And I said, you know, I was in one of your early class. This is a world-renowned speaker. You, if I mentioned his name, you would know. I was in one of your early classes in New York. And uh, he said, yeah, I remember I gave that class at the Learning Annex back in the mid-'80s. And there were 18 people in the room. Now, this person speaks to thousands of people, world-renowned, uh, you know, he, he, he gets paid six figures to speak. And the reality is that when he first started, uh, th there was nothing happening for him, or it was modest, I, I should say. It was a modest result. So listen, stick with it. Make something small, turn to something big. Um, the longer you are around, the more you learn what to do and how to do it. The more um, skin you have in the game, so to speak, the more the deeper your roots are planted and the more success you'll have. Go for it. It can happen. It is happening. Don't give up those small successes because they turn into bigger successes when you stick with them. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Share it with someone in your network that you know can benefit uh, from hearing it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I have a lot more coming and I will see you next time.